We're doing it. We're doing it. Testing one, two. We're doing this. Hello and welcome to 40s. All right, let's roll with it. This is 40s, a new vlogcast series where I take you on a visual journey through my life as I enter into the world of my 40s, bringing you insights and perspectives that I hope will be meaningful and challenge you to ask yourself the questions about life, while I also share stories and wisdom and perspectives that I've gained in my own life through just living. I wanted to make this sort of a different style of vlogging, where I can still talk and we can have meaningful conversations that matter and talk about things that really can be productive and meaningful and hopefully insightful for everybody. So grab a seat or grab a beverage and enjoy the visual. And if you are listening to this on a podcast outlet like Spotify or wherever you listen to your podcast, then I hope that you enjoy. Get in, friend, because today I want to dive into a subject that is a milestone that many of us either look forward to or completely dread. Today, we are talking about turning 40. For some reason, 40 seems like a big one, and it is quickly approaching me in about three months. And as that's approaching, I'm starting to have and feel some of that reflective and introspective energy. And I've always been the type of person to introspect or to reflect or to really do things that refine who I am, but it feels a lot different as I approach 40. So grab your beverage, get comfy, and let's chat. First of all, let's talk about that reflection and reevaluation. Hitting 40 is one of those moments I feel like that is really prompting me to take a step back and look at where I am, what I've achieved so far, and really just take stock. Those of you who are new here or if you've never been to my YouTube channel or if you've never met me before, my name is Addie. And by the way, nice to meet you. I was a wife and a mother and an entrepreneur and all of these things. And in 2022, my world as I knew it was completely obliterated. My husband unexpectedly and suddenly passed away in November 2022. And that really changes the way that I am getting ready to enter into my 40s. Am I where I want to be? No. Did I lose everything? Yes. What are some things that I still want to accomplish? It's like all of these things have become at the forefront of my mind. What do I want to do moving forward? What does it feel like starting over at 40? Um, and these things can feel a little bit heavy. Are there accomplishments that still need to be done? So this right now approaching 40, the reflection and the reevaluation, it feels kind of like a little mini life audit. Now, weaving in like cultural significance, turning 40 is also kind of seen as a rite of passage. I definitely took it upon myself to go and research like the significance in 40 in general, just because I'm always going to research something, but I wanted to know like culturally um, and societally, like what was the significance around turning 40? Um, and granted, there's changes that begin to start to take place in our bodies. Um, you know, late nights, we can't really bounce back from like we might have used to do like in our 20s. I notice we say funny things that we talk about, you know being in bed by a certain time or where we used to maybe be getting ready to go out somewhere by 11 is now your new bedtime, if not beforehand. And, you know, I find that interesting too, just as those 
physical changes begin to um, settle in. But I also think that that brings in another element of starting to focus on our own wellness, our health and our well-being. I know for me right now, that's another big one that I am focused on is just Being healthy as a solo parent to four people, I definitely want to be like in my healthiest state. I want to feel good. And I've been saying this for a while, but I feel like I want being 40 or turning 40, I want my 40s to feel like I am the healthiest and in the best shape that I've ever been in in my life. And I believe that I can do that. I can recall being in my 20s and knowing people who were in their 40s. And as a pole dance instructor and in the movement and fitness community, I feel like there were a lot of people at that point that were already in their 40s and they were beasts, right? Like they worked out all the time and they were really doing it. And so I read this quote that says, life really begins at 40. And there was another quote that I read that said, it gets greater later. And I really liked those, but I wondered like, well, what does that mean? Like, why does life really begin at 40? How does that make sense? So just in thinking about that, you know, and think about some age appropriate changes that I am starting to make and that I'm trying to make um, and that I might need to make, right? Like what are those age appropriate things that might be time to start really giving focus to? I think that another area that could shift for us too is our relationships. Um, You know, by 40, a lot of us are already navigating things like parenting or marriages or even divorces, second marriages. Um, Sadly, for some of us, losses. This can be like career changes. We can have friendship changes, evolving friendships. Like things are different now than when we were 20. Things are different now than when we were 35. So I think that this time too can really be good for like deepening my connections with other people. Um, You know, I'm in a space now where, you know, those who matter, matter and those who don't, can't. Um, Death often has a way and grief really has a way of knocking things into perspective for people and showing you who's important and who's not important and little tiny things that maybe used to matter, they tend to not matter as much anymore when you've been struck with a tragedy or when something's happened, you have this sort of shift in your perspective. And that definitely tends to also shift the relationships in your life. You will reevaluate them more, but just for somebody maybe who hasn't been in my shoes or who hasn't experienced like a loss, I do think that by 40 though, you've experienced something in your life that sort of begins to throw some shit into perspective. And it's like, "Mm, okay, you know, these people are worth my energy and and these people are not. Or maybe, you know, you're a people pleaser and you've always been like a yes person. And, you know, by 40, I think we are learning, if not stepping into this place where like no is a complete answer. And it's okay to say that. It's okay to not always be available or to give of yourself to people, especially people who are like energy vultures, right? So that's definitely like another thing that's just been really sort of floating around my thought processes uh, when it comes to to turning 40. Then I think about careers, right? And career transitions and coming from this space that I am in, like I am navigating where do I want to go and who do I want to be in terms of a career. I personally have been a homemaker for all of my adult life. I've had jobs in here, there, and in between. But I'm also an entrepreneur. I've built businesses and I've enjoyed building those things and taking my hobbies and turning those into things that have been lucrative as far as helping me to support my family. 
However, after experiencing such a significant loss and now being a solo parent, there's more responsibilities that are falling on my shoulders. There's more things that I have to take care of. There are more things that I have to be responsible for. And as the only parent, there is no help coming for me. There isn't another person's income. There isn't another person's input. There isn't any of that to sort of, um, you know, assist in the way and be that support. So when I think about that, that it's like this is a pivotal moment as far as career and I think a lot of people might be experiencing that especially like post pandemic because I think a lot of us realize that our jobs don't give a shit about us that we can make more money being at home and pursuing our passions that we can start things like podcasts or YouTube vlogs or you know social media channels that tend to be more lucrative than our nine to five like there's just so many things that I think begin to impact you know and I think 40s is a really good time to evaluate are you happy in your career are you doing what makes you feel fulfilled because like this is like midlife kind of (laughs) As weird as that sounds to say for me, I'm not sure exactly what the average lifespan is these days, but let's go ahead and just say it's 80 years, like 40 becomes the halfway point. And I think putting it like that, it's like, dang, that really throws things into perspective. Like, wow. Um, And I think that our careers and our passion should be something that, you know, that speak to us and that breathe life into us and not so much drain all the life and the energy out of you. You know, there's so many people that are that are getting up and going to work every day and devoting their time, their energy into places that are not conducive to their well-being, into places that are making you stressed out and literally sick every day. And we feel like we have to do it because this is what earns our paycheck. And so really just evaluating like that space too and thinking about how is my career allowing me to leave a legacy or an impact in the world. And so I would really love to know like what are your thoughts on that for my girlies um, and even my guys if there's any of you here, but for my girlies who are in their 40s, who are moving through their 40s, who are out of their 40s or who are approaching their 40s like I am. Are you in a place that you are loving what you do? Is your career making you feel fulfilled? Are you feeling like you are creating and leaving a lasting legacy? Or are you considering making a career shift or potentially starting something brand new, starting over, changing it up at 40? So we also have heightened awareness about our financial stability. And this is a really big kicker for me because being a homemaker and not making the main source of the income and then losing that main source of income and not having something like a life insurance policy or a lot of money in a savings to be a financial support, stability and security becomes something that I think is really different at 40 than what you feel like your stability and your security might be at 22. I can see how moving into this time and space, thinking more seriously about investments and, you know, things that you own, like taking stock, uh, thinking about something like retirement or what happens, you know, after you've worked all this time, uh, what are the steps that we're taking at this point to really secure down the bag for our financial future? So I think that that's another like really just important aspect of of reflecting and of getting into like what this next chapter really genuinely holds. And then just to embrace like the aging part of it all too, it's like I I'm okay with that. I've got several gray hairs in the last 2 years, y'all. The, the little grays that have started to sprout out of these locks is quite crazy, but I'm okay with it. Um I'm not like in a big race to feel like I need to cover it up although I do like temporarily like dye my locks I like them black like I like for them to be like really 
dark. I feel like they look more healthy and lustrous that way. But just in general, like it's not because I'm trying to seriously cover up grays. Um, and I don't mind the aging process that much. Like I, I can look at my hands. I remember in cosmetology school learning that like you can look at a woman's hands and kind of like guess her age um, because our hands change over time. The way that the skin looks on our hands begin to change. And so I can tell in my hands that they don't particularly look like young hands anymore. And while I don't have like a ton of wrinkles or anything like that, like I do notice like the small lines and stuff on my face, but I am completely okay with that, at least at this point right now. One thing that I have noticed is that it's been a lot easier for me to like throw weight on though um, when it comes to gaining weight. That definitely has been a little bit of something that I'm like, whoa, this has been a little rapid and it's a little bit more like I have to pay better attention to what I'm doing to get it off. And so that's probably something that's been just a little bit different, but I definitely wanted to find a way to really revamp my passions and bring back conversations. I have been in a space of grieving and creating space to talk about grief. I've been hosting a live stream on TikTok called Casual Conversations on Grief. And I think I want to sort of expand that to casual conversations on grief and life after loss because I think that there's just so many facets of things to talk about in that space but in doing that it's really began to change a lot of perspective and thoughts about the future all of that coupled on top of the fact that these last few months for me have just been very introspective and very like I'm ready to come into the present moment. I'm ready to take stock of what my life is right now. And that's difficult after a significant loss because it means that I have to come face to face with exactly where I am. And for me, that means that I have to come face to face with the fact that, you know, my children's father and my spouse is no longer here. And that is a solid reality. I have to come face to face with my financial circumstances. I have to come face to face with my living circumstances. I have to come face to face with my career, with my parenting, like with all of these things in the present moment right now so that I can begin to build and and, and take steps to move forward and sort of plan this life. And I want my 40s to be like the best life. I've had a lot of really unique difficulties and challenges within you know, the last 20 years, we'll say, of of my life. And so I am wanting to really hone in on being very intentional and being very mindful and making sure that I am moving through this next phase and this next chapter of my life in a way that is going to bring peace and bring happiness and bring abundance and make me feel fulfilled and feel purposeful and also being able to do that while being a service and a help to others. I will explain a little bit more in detail about this new style of vlog podcasting situation that I have going on here, but I am definitely wanting to talk and hold more conversations and really just speak my mind. And I have a lot of these moments where I'm ranting to myself and I feel like everybody's out there ranting and I am being called and feeling really heavily like now is the time for me to put my little mark into the world as far as just things that I need to say and that I need to get out of me. Um, And so, yeah, so this is crazy. I am three months away, less than three months away from turning 40. And I have this sort of, I guess what I feel like, it feels like a bucket list of things that I want to sort of do and establish before 
my birthday. And it's nothing intense or crazy because let's be real. Like I have to be realistic about what I can actually do and accomplish over the next two and a half months. But I definitely have a small little list of things and I am doing my best to make sure that I am finding the discipline to incorporate those things into my everyday so that by my birthday, they will be either accomplished or be some pretty well-established habits that I am looking to create. So as we wrap up this conversation, I want to ask you if you are in your late 30s, 38, 39, how do you feel about turning 40? And if you're already in your 40s, especially your early 40s, like how did you feel when you were getting ready to turn 40? Because going from like 37 to 38 didn't feel like anything, right? Going from 38 to 39, honestly, I was out of it, you know, in in mourning and grieving and bereavement and loss. So that it didn't even matter to me then. But switching out of you know, going from the 30s to the 40s, going from, you know, the teens to the 20s, going from the 20s into the 30s, like those always feel like such significant moments and significant milestones. And so let me know how you feel about turning 40, how you felt about turning 40. And what does the milestone mean for you? Like, what does it mean for you as a milestone in your life to have turned 40, to be in your 40s, to have crossed into the, because to me, it feels like 40 is like more mature, right? Our 20s, okay, we're young, you know, we're making the mistakes, we're learning the things, we're doing the things. 30s felt like the establishing ground. You're really starting to get your footing. You're really kind of getting it in there. But to me, like 40s feels like this is the refinement. Like this is where the shit's really about to get good. And I do genuinely believe that. And, um, you know, it's not just an age. It's our opportunity for growth. 40 means new beginnings. 40 is significant to the breaking down and building up of something. And that was a really cool thing to learn. And I love that as this chapter of my life too, like comes to a close and I can release and let go of of a lot of the things and the baggage and the hurt and the trauma and the grief that I've been holding on to and fully step into the light of something new. And that feels really, really exciting. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, please feel free to subscribe or share it with someone who you think might need a little bit of Uh, inspiration, entertainment, motivation, whatever it is as they approach this milestone as well. And until next time, you guys, it's all love. I hope that you guys enjoyed the first episode in this new vlogcast series called 40s. I am hoping to produce 10 episodes of this first season and let's see how it goes. If you enjoyed this video cast, please leave a comment below. Let me know what you think and Let's talk about it. Let's get into it and share, like, all of the things, and let's continue to grow together. Bye, guys.